John here guys and today we're talking about the Speedy Bee V3. This is the little beta flight that you can keep with you in your bag without having to lug around a computer with you to the field. They've made a number of improvements and feature add-ons to this new V3 version. Uh, I've had every version since the first one and I really liked the first one maybe a little bit better than the second one because it seemed to connect slightly faster. Well they have improved that now. It's it's invaluable to be able to fix a setting for yourself or a newcomer that comes to the field for the first time so that you don't have to send someone home for the drive of shame. And here's the Speedy Beat V3 adapter. I really like the changes that they have made to this version 3 of this really nice product. Uh, they have a nice little screen on here that can give you a battery voltage on there, a little USB port. And of course you have your lipo and you can also power this with a little tiny loop stop battery this is a double ended cable that has usb c on one end and regular usb on the other and then you have ports for each one so if your flight controller has usb regular you plug in the usb c end right here and if it has usb c you do the reverse so you only need one cable to be able to uh, use this for both style of ports now my flight controller has a regular USB, so I'm gonna plug it in here. Once I have it plugged in, I just have to apply a battery. So this is 3S battery. I can see what voltage I'm putting through right here from the battery. Now I'm going to launch the Speedy B app. I turn it on right there. As it boots up, it's automatically going to look for the Bluetooth connection from this little Speedy B dongle right here and now it has found the speedy b v3 this is so easy i'm gonna hit connect and before you can say bubs your uncle here you have full beta flight configurator on here so i can see all of my settings i can calibrate my gyro if i forgot to do that right here i can go in i can manipulate my ports tab so if you needed to set something up in the field and you didn't have a computer you can actually configure pretty much everything here i can go to the configuration tab and see that my motor direction is reversed now here's another cool thing right here you have this 3d esc motors tab feature so you can go to the motors tab to set that up. Your battery settings are there. Fail safe there. Pit tuning, really nice. You have full sliders on here so you can really adjust your pits uh, very easily. I can also go over to my rates and check those suckers out. And you can see right here, I have the 533 heads up rates plugged in, which is 0.8 on all of your RC rates and 0.7 on your super rates. I also have um, the UAV tech uh, race presets on here, which is a TBA breakpoint of 1750. And I have just been using this for freedom spec. So I have this on 100% throttle. Normally though, I do like to run more like an 85% throttle. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. You have your receiver settings right there. If you ever need to adjust though you can change your channel mapping right here here is your modes tab you can see where i have my arm angle mode right there beeper flip over after crash or turtle mode now here is a very nice feature for the motors tab right here i do have bi-directional d shots um, turned on right here i have that set up and you can actually do motor testing from inside this. So I'm not gonna do that right now, but that would make these spin. If you are gonna test any motors and apply a power to your quad itself, you're gonna wanna have props off as it reminds you right here. You can also see all of your gyro in real time. Wow, this is really sampling very, very nicely as it is spinning. Another cool thing in here is you can actually set the motor direction here. So if you were building a quad and you needed to set motor directions, you can actually change that right here. You can do all of your OSD settings directly from here as well. VTX settings here, and you can also go to the CILI tab. I like how throughout this, it keeps um, your beta flight version up here. It keeps your battery voltage up here, your uh, flight controller version, the craft name, so you can always remember what you're working on. So I can actually hit diff, send that, and get a full printout of all of the settings on this flight controller. This really replaces a 
computer for you in the field, this is fantastic, guys. So all in all, this is a must have, guys. If you don't plan to keep a laptop with you in the field at all times, I really do suggest you have the Speedy Bee. Uh, I have been having the Speedy Bee in my pack for a few years now, and it has really saved some people, especially when we have newcomers out and they have like one setting that's keeping them from flying. You can plug that in and get them in the air. And uh, this is gonna be what I'm gonna keep because it has even more features. The app runs much smoother. It connects way faster. And uh, this really allows you to ca carry much less stuff. Speedy B version three adapter. This is Speedy B version three. Now it has some new features on this. So Betaflight developer, they made their own Betaflight configurator and you could change motor directions inside without having a computer. Yeah, no, you cannot there. It says you can. Like BLK 32 is broken there. Oh. And you can confirm with Andy. We're taking this off of the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because, okay, because Andy didn't believe me. I tried it because when I was researching how to do like this motor like reverse, I was researching, try hard, trying hard how to do this, you know, figuring out. Yeah. I even messaged to them, they didn't reply me. But then I tried it, it doesn't fucking work. And then Andy's like, no way, it works. But then no, it, and he's like, no. So it only works work. for BL Heli S? Yeah, BL Heli S. Oh, shit. Maybe okay. they will fix it. Maybe they will Maybe they fix it. it. Maybe they, I'll test it. Yeah. And if it doesn't work, but that's also, going on the thumbnail. But also, if it works, it only works for quads. Well, what else are we going to use it for? Betaflight allows you not just change direction, but also remap your motor motors. That's and, true. And it doesn't you. have that. But in a pinch, and I do like they added this. Do it as one connector with USB-C regular and USB-C on the other side, yeah. and it has two ports. So either way, your flight controller, you only need one cable. You used to have to have two cables. Yeah, yeah, no, that's pretty cool. This like, is these, nice. These guys there, yeah, they, they, they And it has voltage job. reader. When you plug in the yeah. battery, you can see what your battery voltage is. Yeah, and yeah. you can even power it from a tiny Whoop battery. Yeah, no, that's, that's pretty cool stuff. But yeah, they should figure out how to use the real configurator instead of making their own configurator. Yeah, so how does that connect to your phone? Bluetooth. Yeah, yeah, Bluetooth. All right. Maybe Betaflight Flight one day will support Bluetooth too. It was pretty nice. Yeah. The old one used to take like a few seconds to connect. This one connects right away. It's no. pretty yeah, easy. Yeah, no, Bluetooth is a big deal. Especially like some flight controllers these days, they have built-in Bluetooth. So you don't have to open your pod and then, then, then this speedy beat thing is, is pretty awesome. So for best practice, bring your laptop with the yeah. full beta flight configurator. Yeah. So Especially if you don't want to carry your laptop, you can carry this. Yeah. But only buy BL Heli S. Yes, yes. <laughs> you can put your flight configurator on your phone though, right? On Android? Yeah, but not, not, yeah, not, but who, not by Bluetooth. Who wants to oh, use yeah. Android? Nobody. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> he wants, uh, to Thanks, guys.